What is going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Kevin here coming at you from the Crazy iPod Reviewer YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Envelope Dual Layer Rugged Case for the iPhone 6. I purchased this on Amazon.com for $8.99. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this product so you can conclude if it's the right choice for your iPhone. Alright, so here is the case, and this is the second case that I've had the privilege of, of checking out from Envelop. They're kind of a moderate brand. The last case I looked at was pretty good, but not, like, it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. It wasn't the best I've ever seen for the price, but this one at about $8 to $9 in price is a little bit cheaper, so we'll have to see if it's better or worse than the last Envelop case I looked at. So we'll cut this open here, slide out the case. And there is a little preview screen here, kind of showing what the iPhone would look like if it was in there. And this case, though, this is a multi-layer case. And what that means is that it has, obviously, more than one layer. But typically, multi-layer cases are designed to absorb more impact if you drop your phone. And I'm one of those types of people where if I'm going to go through the hassle of actually putting a phone case on my phone, it better be good. I don't really see the purpose of putting on a thin case or something that doesn't really protect it because I still might break the phone by dropping it even though it's in the case. So with a nice design like this, a nice multi-layer design, you really worry quite a bit less about damaging your device. So taking a look at the bottom here, it does say envelope in nice white letters and then we have this kind of scaled feel here. So the plastic on the outside, all the plastic materials feel nice. Of course, the inner layer is rubber and the outer layer is plastic, but even the hard plastic, it's hard, but it feels smooth, like it's kind of a rubbery plastic feel, which I definitely think is a nice and refreshing thing to see on a case like this. So that definitely feels nice. Now for the camera module hole, there's plenty of room. You don't really have to worry about having the case get in the way of your pictures. Taking a look at the bottom here, we have a decent amount of space for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's always a pet peeve of mine. I really hate when I have to take off my phone case just to plug in to an external device. But it looks like with this, it might or might not be a problem. Likely it won't be a huge problem, but that is something to take into account. So if you have a very large adapter that you normally use to plug into your stereo, this might not be the best case. Also, it's not easy to slide off necessarily, but we'll see once I put the phone on, we'll have a better feel for that. But essentially, the purpose of this video is for you to basically get a little more information than you normally get just by looking at press images. This really shows you the true quality of the case, and when you order this case and get it at your house, there won't be any surprises because everything you need to learn, you'll learn in this video. So we have the power button here, the on-off switch, the sleep-wake button. Uh, that's very smooth. That is actually triggered through the rubber layer, not the plastic layer, which is nice. On this side we have the mute switch, which is open, and then we have the volume up and volume down. Those are also triggered through the rubber piece, and then of course the bottom. So let's install this sucker. So I have the iPhone 6 here, so essentially all you have to do is just pry off this back section. And this is kind of interesting, it just seems very flimsy, it's like a kind of like a shell. It's a little interesting. Normally I don't see something so flimsy like this, but I guess that kind of helps with uh, shock absorption. I could see that definitely being helpful. But let's start by putting the iPhone into this inner case, which is very easy, just snaps in without an issue. So now that that's on, just have to put this right into the outer case. And wow, that it's a pretty smooth installation, so it's on now. I believe. Let me just see. Sometimes you have to kind of pick through all these little pieces here, but yeah, it looks like it's on, no problem, and we're good to go. So that's definitely nice to see. So the phone is inside of the case, the envelope case here, and it feels pretty different in the hand. It, this is an interesting feel, just because of the way that that back plate is just so scaled. It's kind of scaly. It's like I'm feeling a fish. So we have the buttons here. Definitely some nice pressage here for all the buttons. That's not an issue. And then the sleep wake button is easy to access. And then we have the bottom here. No problem there with those speakers. No problem at all getting the audio to leave those. So that's nothing to worry about. So all in all, this seems like a pretty decent case. Like I said, it's available for around $8.50 on Amazon. The price always kind of changes just gradually. 
but I really wanted to pick this up because it's one of the top search results on the website and I really wanted you guys to get a nice feel for the case so that you really get a good idea of what you're dealing with here. So would I recommend it? Well, for the price tag of $8 to $9, it's really, uh, I don't know, it's not the best case I've ever seen, obviously. If you really want to get a good case with good protection, go the route of Otterbox or Incipio. Those cases are going to last for a long time. However, for this price tag, it definitely seems like a good contender. So if your budget is under $10, I definitely would consider this case to buy. It definitely feels like a good unit for that price. So would I recommend it? Yes, I would for that price range. Now, if you're going to pay any more than $10, there's definitely better options out there. So hopefully this video was helpful for you and gave you some more details. Uh, now I'll take off the case because that's always something that people want to know is how easy are these cases to remove. So just kind of push up here. Let's see here. There we go. You have to kind of push on the rubber ends. I don't know though how many times I could take this case on and off without like this plastic snapping. That's the only issue that I would have. Let's see here. Uh, it doesn't okay didn't sound good but it, it worked all right so that has been removed and then this is pretty easy you just take off the rubber here and the phone is free cool awesome well hopefully you enjoyed that case review and hopefully it was helpful to you if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments Thank you very much for checking out this video of this iPhone 6 case from the envelope if you enjoyed it a lot please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to show your support and so you don't miss any future uploads from me. And if you are a company and you're interested in sending me out a product review, make sure to send me an email at my email address, which is crazyipodreviewer at aol.com. And I'd love to interact with all of you on social media, so make sure to follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash crazyipodreviewer and follow me on Facebook, well, like me on Facebook, at facebook.com slash crazyipodreviewer. So thank you very much, everyone, and have a fantastic day.